Hey there friends, how's it going? I'm Mr. Bow and the brand new Batman expansion for Hot Wheels Unleashed has dropped and in this video we're going to be diving into everything it has to offer. Now I will be doing separate videos going over all of the cars in more detail, upgrading them all to legendary and letting you guys know which ones are worth your while. And then I'll have another video going over all of the brand new time attacks on all the Batman tracks because I know a lot of people struggled with the original tracks in the main Hot Wheels City Rumble campaign. So let's just dive into what this expansion has to offer. Firstly, it is £11.99, £12, and you get one brand new environment, the Batcave, five vehicles, five customization items for your basement, two new item sets for your Unleashed profile, as well as the Hot Wheels City Rumble events. 10 events over 5 new tracks built specifically in the Batcave. On top of that, you also have a brand new animated item in the Track Builder. So let's start off by taking a look at those 5 brand new vehicles. Firstly, we have the Armored Batman, which is a 2018 DC Universe characters car. A nice beefed up Batmobile here with a kind of green tint and the green wheels. We then have the Batman Rebirth, again part of the 2018 DC Universe character cars. I think this car looks kind of cool, it has a really kind of retro vibe personally for me and I think this could be a pretty decent car when upgraded to legendary. We then have the Robin 2.0T, nothing really that special here, kind of looks like the Leonardo car that came out a couple of days ago but just with a Robin wrap. The car I think a lot of people have been waiting for though is the Joker GT and when you take a look at the stats for this thing on legendary, there is a chance that this could compete for my favourite car up against the Superman car for best stats and best performance. We'll have to wait and see though. And then we have arguably the best looking car just in the entire game and that is the Penguin car. I really hope the stats on this prove to be true and this car is viable and isn't like some of the other chunkier cars we've seen in the past where they're just really not worth it. So those are the five brand new vehicles and unlike the racing season, you gain access to them straight away, though they are all common. We can then head into Hot Wheels City Rumble. Yes, there was a new addition here for the Batman expansion. As I mentioned, there are 10 events split over five brand new tracks. Five of those are quick races, five of those are time attacks. And along the way, you'll be unlocking blind boxes, coins and gears. It would have been nice to have seen maybe a car at the end of this. From the looks of things, there isn't anything special locked behind this. I haven't completed it myself yet, but it would have been nice to see like a special car at the end of this. So you actually had something to work towards. Hey, maybe that is here and I just haven't got it yet. But from the looks of it, it doesn't seem like it. In terms of the five new courses, we have Where's the Suit? We have Hangar Tour. We have Joker's Playground. I'm the Knight and the Last Laugh. But of course, if none of those tracks are your fancy, you can go into the track editor and build your own track. So let's dive into the editor and take a look at the Batcave, as well as that brand new animated item. So personally, I think this is the coolest environment in the game. There's definitely a lot you can do with this place. There's under sort of the main section here with all these rocks. There's on top by the Batman's desk. There's this cool stairway where you can probably get the track to go down. It is just a shame though that off in the distance you can see some classic Batman pieces including the giant coin, the T-Rex, the Joker's playing card and even the suits for Batgirl, Red Hood, what looks like Batman Beyond, Robin and the original Batsuit and it's just out of reach. You can't get over there. It would have been nice to have gone over there and done a track maybe going around all these different suits. But nonetheless, it is still, again, probably the best environment we've seen in this game, and I can't wait to see what people make. In terms of the brand new animated item, we have the Joker Funhouse Split. This seems like a pretty cool item. It's almost a seesaw where you can get crushed by it, but you can also get flung up in the air by it, and it also plays some circus music as you're driving past it. The final couple of things in this expansion also include those basement items, but I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure where they are. I don't use the basement. If that's your kind of thing, they'll be in there somewhere for you. And then we also have some player icons, including a classic Batman, as well as some bats on a white background. They're kind of cool. But there you have it. That is everything included in the new Batman expansion. I think it's super cool. I love the cars. I can't wait to dive in and see how good they are. And I think the brand new environment is definitely going to spice up this game. But there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments below of the Batman expansion. Again, stay tuned for a deeper dive into the cars as well as those time attacks. I know people are going to be wanting guides on them as soon as possible. And I'll try and get that up as quickly as I can. If you did enjoy this video, then click that like button. And if you aren't already, then consider 
consider subscribing for more gaming content and coverage. Apart from all that though, cheers for watching and for hanging out with me. I do super appreciate it and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.